interior design, um, we cover everything from furniture to designing a room to working with clients. And we do more basic stuff, such as just learning like about complementary colors and things like that. In my architecture class, we worked on computers and we used a software called Revit. And we had this book that taught us how to create this house. And we got to create the house as well as create the furniture that goes inside it using the computer software. Architecture and interior design both use the same ideas. In interior design, we do a lot of things that uh, we did in architecture. Each one builds on the other one, and it really, I think, like makes a complete experience. Architecture, you do a lot of computer software. As for interior design, you kind of decorate the place, and so I feel like those both complement each other. My teacher does an awesome job teaching us industry standards. We learn about how to do floor plans, elevations, perspectives, all within um, the industry standards so that one day we can actually apply them. Even though we go to college and we get that degree, we're already set up for success as soon as we step through the doors. In interior design, we use a lot of math, for example, like geometry, and we're really like actually applying it into real world scenarios. I really enjoy it because we're actually applying stuff I'm learning in my math classes. I'm interested in architecture because I love being creative and working with others and I feel like that complements both. And I like being outside of the box and it really helps me visualize and see my plan come to life. I know I walked into it thinking that I wanted to do architectural engineering, but by continuing to do um, interior design one, two, three, I realized that it's actually what I want to do. So even if you're on the fence about something completely different, more with math, you can be swayed or you can be confirmed that maybe something more math related is your um, choice one day.